Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I wanted to cover making full width slotting passes on the MR1 CNC gantry mill. Full slotting is when the entire diameter of the milling tool is used to make a cut through the material. While full slotting is not the most ideal method for removing material, sometimes due to part geometry, it is the only option available. In general, slotting is difficult when machining because chip evacuation becomes a problem since the end mill is surrounded by stock at the front and sides of the cut. In addition, the increased points of contact on the tool can increase chatter if the machine is not rigid enough. For this video, I wanted to compare two different machining strategies for slotting. In the first set of cuts, I wanted to go with the more traditional approach by selecting a slower feed rate but cutting deeper. For the second, I am going to use a shallower depth of cut but use the maximum travel speed of the machine when cutting. Now that I'm out at the machine, I'm going to mount our material for this test. I have a 2 inch by 2 inch aluminum bar and I'm going to mount it in the two vices on the table as shown. I've placed a sharpie mark at the center of this part and on the left side I'm going to be doing our low speed but deep cuts and as I move along this block I'm going to be going deeper and deeper as we move down. Now for the right side of the block I will be doing the same thing except we will be doing our high speed machining tool paths. That's the full speed of the machine and we will be doing a shallower depth of cut. For the machining I will be using a two flute carbide end mill with variable helix pitch. Now enough talking, let's make some chips. Well, I gotta say, that was fun to watch. To be honest, I wasn't certain it was actually gonna be able to do the cut. I guess maybe it just visually looked crazy to see this end mill being buried almost all the way down going through the material, but it seemed to do it no problem. The chips look good. I think the spindle was stressed there at the end, but overall very happy with this. Now it's time to move on to the high speed side.
Okay, the results are in. It looks like both of these methods worked pretty well. I think they're adequate machining strategies for doing full slotting on your machine. You know, if I had to pick, I'd probably give the nudge to the low and slow method. I just think it's more fun to bury the end mill and make a big chip. And also it's just better for tool wear since it's less chip load and uses the full length of the cutting tool instead of just the bottom portion. Okay, I hope you guys learned something today. Thanks for watching.